Hello and welcome everyone to another exciting episode of the Super Carling Gaming Pokemon Soul Silver Randomizer Nuzlocke Challenge. Where in today's episode, we're going to be doing some grinding. I have to imagine. That's at least step one. Step two might be, I guess, like, I'm trying to figure out what to do next. And it seems like next is just red. Like, that's the only thing you have to do next. We could, I guess, go through Mount Moon and maybe try and fight the people in there. We could go through the rock tunnel. There's like some little side questy things we could do, which I might do just to fight the trainers. But that's like the next thing before the game is over. You can go re-fight the Elite Four now. They are stronger, and I kind of want to do that. Just to like do it, but it also seems almost needlessly reckless when uh, in, they're like very strong and it's five in a row and you know, like uh, why risk it, right? We can just go straight to Red. Um, of course, Red, you have to understand, his highest level Pokemon is 88. And it is so, <laughs> and his lowest level Pokemon is 80. So we are vastly under leveled, Markle, looking at you. Um, so we're gonna have to do quite a bit of training. Even if you wanna do the Elite Four first, which might just be a good way to pick up experience at this point, uh, we are still pretty under leveled because uh, they are gonna be, that that goes only up to like 64 for Lance, I think. No, Lance goes to 75. Karen goes to 64. So, yeah, we got to train. We got to do some training. Uh, that's going to be on the docket, first of all. Um, we can't go to Mount Silver, though, which is exciting because I imagine there are stronger Pokemon over here. Plus, we can catch something here on Route 28 and inside of Mount Silver. So, let's do that first right boom let's see let's see what's gonna be our first catch of the day it's oh wow look at this our first thing we run into is a garchomp which is cool because it means there's really good pokemon maybe to train against in here maybe dangerous pokemon to train against in here but i'm sure kimberly can wreck this thing no problem this is dupes claws so this doesn't count because we of course have plant the mighty garchomp super effective it's dead mark again 622 so what is actually going to be our encounter dun 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 it's Manectric! Wow, wow. Okay, Manectric. That is a pretty cool catch. I like electric types. Remember when we had a different sort of electric Pokemon way back in the beginning? <laughs> Four miles. Killed by Bulkia. <laughs> it hurts. It hurts. Um, let's see. So, do we have a great option to fight the Manectric? Is the question. I guess we can go to Ice, right? Maybe we can get a burn on it. That'd be great. Well, it paralyzed us, so there's that. You can also just confuse it. Get yourself burnt. Yes, that's what I'm talking about. All right, now we can start just... We're just going to have to go for the huck and the Pokeballs. As or we have 13 options here. We can probably... We can still go for a quick ball, I assume. It's still pretty early in the battle. It might not be as good as if we just started with it, which is what we should have done, but we didn't. It's bit. It's burnt. So there is a clock ticking. We're just going to keep hulking Ultra Balls at it until we catch it or until we don't. We'll find out. One, two. Oh, just like that. Almost. Thunder Fang, Fraid Knot, Leftovers. Take your burn. Maybe we'll try and speed up the process a little bit with a little Confuse right there. A little burn action, little Leftovers. Here we go. Item Ultra Ball. I suspect this amount of grinding is going to take me quite some time. Ultra Ball, go! One. I suspect I will change shirts before the end of this episode, is what I think. I think it's going to take more than a day. Uh, mostly right now, I'm waiting for Ben to get back, because he's running an errand right now, so he's not going to be able to name this Manectric, but yes, we will give a nickname to it anyway. Da 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 da, video comments. Da 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 da. Amber. That's after. Amber Taylor. Welcome to the box, Amber. All right, now let's go over right away into old Mount Silver here. Oh, a Vibrava. Oh my God, remember when we almost got the Flygon? That could have been a reality. It could have been a reality, you guys. The Flygon was there, it was lurking. I know Flygon's not a pseudo legendary, but can you imagine the team of uh, Garchomp, Salamence, Dragonite, 
Flygon. We even have Tyranitar in the box. <laughs> where we could be so powerful. I mean, not that we're not powerful. We have Kimberly for the Wimberly, and she's just wrecking this Venomoth. It doesn't even know what hit it. Except we know what hit it, and that is a big dragon. A Mudkip! Oh my gosh, that would have been a pretty good catch. That would have been pretty solid, not gonna lie. A Manectric again. We're just trying to get to the to the cave right now. I just want to go in the cave so I can catch a thing. I just want to catch something. I just want to catch something. Please stop. The encounter rate is insane. All right, we're just gonna have to leave a trail of dead Manectrics here. You hate to see it, but here we go. It's not like we don't need the experience. Mount Silver, all right. All right, so we are technically there. We are at Mount Silver. This is a new area. We can catch something. I kind of want to get it from inside the cave, but a single step into the grass says otherwise. Here we go. A sunken. Wow. What a terribly disappointing uh, first. And now we don't even have. We don't even have a quick ball, do we? Mm-hmm. Okay, man, that is a real. That is a bummer right there, sunken. Okay. Well, you'd think. Look. Trainers at level 42 have to have evolved Pokemon, but obviously wild Pokemon don't get the same treatment. Whatever. It's fine. We could I bet Marco could do this. I bet Marco can do this. Razor Leaf, we laugh it off. We laugh it off. Let's hit it with actually Dragon Rage. Why not, right? Boom. It's not gonna kill it. Synthesis, it heals it back. Okay, you wanna play that way? You wanna play? I'll do this all day, dude! Wow. Alright, we're gonna have to go Thunder Wave on it. Sunny day. Oh, now it stops. Now that actually makes Synthesis stronger, I think. Giga Drain. You wish, dude. All right, let's go for the Ultra Ball now. Um, I mean, we may as well catch it, right? Yay! Markle did a thing! It lives by drinking only two drops from under the leaves of plants. Wow, that sounds like a really pitiful life. I'm not going to lie. Anyway, we'll give you a name. All the same. All the same. We're going to name you... Let's see. Corolla. That's Corolla after Corolla and Bommy Hufflepuff. Welcome to the box. All right. Let's see. We can go in here. We can heal, I guess. That's nice. And then I don't think inside the cave is going to count as a second uh, place to encounter stuff because we're just already at Mount Silver. Oh, come on. Hey, a pincer. That would have been cool. Probably cooler than a sun kern. But yeah, this is still going to be Mount Silver Cave. Okay, this is different. This is different, so we can actually also catch something in here. We have another opportunity to catch not Sunkern, right? Oh, look, see, good thing we gave Lord Vanilla the waterfall, because we're obviously going to have to use it. Ready? Let's see what we're going to catch, though. What's it going to be? Riolu! Oh, man, that's pretty good. Real, pretty, I mean, Lucario, you know, this, uh, this is pretty solid. It's pretty solid, not going to lie. Let's see, what can we use to catch it? How do we catch it? How do we just poke it? Could Lord Vanilla poke it with like a little slashy? Sl no, obviously. Well, steel. Mm. Rock is weak to steel and to fighting, so that's actually a really bad switch. Don't want to do that. Um, otherwise, we could give it a deal slashy slash. Uh, I think uh, Root Kimberly is going to be way too strong for this particular fight. Who to go to? Who won't knock it out? Let's go. Maybe Rutana can. Yeah, Rutana can I I bet can U-turn on it, right? U-turn and then yeah, that's gonna work. Then we can go to Kimberly to throw an intimidate on it so it doesn't hurt us at all. It used U-turn. Okay, hilarious. We're gonna go back to Rutana. Failed and we U-turn again. There we go. Now we're bringing Kimberly again. We're just doing a little intimidating dance. Then we go for the Ultra Ball. Go! It appeared to be caught. Ugh. All right, we're going to get it. Come on. Oh, man, it is. It is not wanting to get in this ball. Yes, there it is. Riolu was caught. All right, that's an exciting one. Man, that is, I mean, Lucario, very good. 
Very good Pokemon, for sure. It's not one of my favorite. I don't like, I would like, I would probably not typically ever use one in a, in a regular playthrough because uh, I, I find like, I, I find myself bucking the, the Pokemon that the Pokemon company lifts up a little too much. And I feel like Lucario is one of those. So I'm just like, I don't, I don't get, I don't get the hype, but I understand that it is very good. I understand. Let's see. Let's go with Geppetto. Geppetto has been long time viewer, always in the premieres. There we go. Geppetto, Lucario. They basically, they almost rhyme, basically. They don't. Um, okay. Now the question is, where do we go to train? Where do we go to train? I think we can go to Vermilion. and I think there was some, oh, do I have to go back? Oh, this is so, that's silly. We have to fly here first, I guess. And then we can fly again. Um, I think there were some trainers over in this section of the game that we have not fought yet, Route 15, and uh, over there next to Vermilion. So maybe we can go do that, clear some people out, get some extra experience that way. May as well heal, right? Just to be sure, just to be sure. And we shall see how it goes. Let's so let's throw uh let's get some fights in with Lord Vanilla, because we haven't done any fights with Lord V here. <laughs> Lord V. That sounds like Voldemort. Are you Voldemort? Your Pokemon yawned loudly. What? I can't imagine Lord Vanilla. Look at him. Oh, look at his little little sword arms. Ah, he's ready to go cut stuff up. You ready to go cut stuff up? Lord Vanilla is looking down steadily. Not to be bothered is Lord Vanilla. Um, let's see, do we have, what item do you have? You have no item. So we should change that. We should give you an item and that item should probably be, let's not get too uh, caught up in it. I think it definitely just needs to be the leftovers, right? All right, let's go, let's go kill some stuff. Going to wreck at Route 15. We already caught something on this route, if I recall. Now we're just going to wreck stuff. This is just more fun than uh, doing the grinding. I think so we're going to switch here because we don't want to fight that thing. We're going to go for the Intimidate. Yeah. Cross chop. Nothing. Fly. So I know there's going to be people out there who disagreed with the um, with the decision to bring Mark on. Who would have said, you don't need another <laughs> dragon flag Pokemon. And to those people, I say, of course we did. Of course we did. Look, this was a literal gift from God, was Markle, and the God of Pokemon, Ace. Ace, who came to mediate the transition, who was given to us at the Dragon's Den. Do you think that's a coincidence? That's typically where you get a Dratini anyway. Oh, look at this guy. Look at this guy. Has his own salaments. Thinks he's hot stuff? Well, he's not. He's not hot stuff. He's about to be dead stuff. Rock slide. You see why we switch out on rocks? Because Lord Vanilla, isn't it? Oh man, look at us! Look at us having, having a uh, a rock type move on the team. Having solid stab water type users on the team. Waterfall. Oh, okay, that wasn't as good as I thought it was gonna be. Uh, let's try another. Uh, let's go rock slide again. Oh, it missed. You, you thought we were gonna retreat? We don't. Lord Vanilla does not retreat. Now we can just Aqua Jet you for dead, for dead. Yes, Lord Vanilla. Oh, and an Infernape. Well, if any... Oh, gosh. <laughs> no. No. Okay, so I'm like, on the one hand, rock and water are good against fire, right? That's both true. On the other hand, rock is weak to fighting, so that's a problem. So can we Aqua Jet and kill this thing from 10 levels up? Can we waterfall? Are we faster? What's our speed looking like? These are the kind of things we need to know. These are the sort of things we need to know. Summary, speed is 101. So it's pretty quick, pretty quick. Faster than, it's about, like I would expect, I would expect to be faster. So I'm gonna, I'm just gonna go for it. I'm gonna go for the waterfall. We're, oh, it's so dead. It's so dead, just like that. Okay, because I would have expected the other Pokemon to simply be faster. And we're gonna go waterfall again. Why not? Why not? Look at Lord Vanilla just wrecking people. Oh, and Dialga wants to play. I get it, it's fine. I get it, he can tell. Dialga's like, uh, whoa, Suicune! That's crazy. Um, Dialga is threatened by the fact that we have 16 badges. 
We defeated all of his, we defeated Celery, we defeated Peaches. And now he knows there's not much left he can do. He's just trying to attack us from afar. We're gonna fly on this thing. Oh, why did I do that? It has ice moves. Oh. The Yachi Berry coming in clutch. Hasn't happened in a while. We're gonna have to replace that now. Oh, it's got a Dragonite. Well, I mean, that's amazing. We're obviously just gonna wreck it though because we're so much stronger. I'd love to do some more battles with you. <laughs> I would not. Thanks for nothing though. A rose incense. Oh, all right, let's go. Um, Do I have more Yachi Berries? Nope, don't want that one. Yachi, give. I hate that you have to replace the berries. It's so frustrating, because like, like if you're doing like competitive battling, you don't have to, it just stay, like it'll use it once and you can't continue to use it in the battle, but then it's back after the battle. Very annoying. Because like other items you just hold, like I want to be able to just rely on that forever. I mean, I guess that's the problem. It's like it weakens an attack, so it just removes it. I guess it would just basically remove a weakness from you. For one attack though, not even all attacks. Waterfall. Remember that Gligar that killed Megan? That was embarrassing. With Slash. Slash, which has claimed so many of our friends in this particular playthrough. That Garchomp looks scary. We've run into two Garchomps today. I don't like it. Um, up, 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 up. We're gonna go to Kimberly, throw the Intimidate. We've got nine, we've got more than nine levels on this thing. We've got 15 levels on this thing. So I'm feeling pretty good with a Dragon Claw for the Wagon Claw, which is just, I, that doesn't really, Sound like Win Claw? We're in a school trip to Lavender Radio Tower for social studies. Oh, well, you should know then that the history of that tower is that it used to be a graveyard. Uh, well, not graveyard. I don't know why they did a graveyard like a tower, but they did. And uh, they tore it down and built a radio tower instead. So it's embarrassing for them, if you ask me. This thing might actually be faster than us, but it's no big whoop. Because we have Waterfall and Lord Vanilla claims another victim. <laughs> so good. So good is Lord Vanilla. Waterfall, man. Just wreck it. Waterfall's very good. Why was I less aware of this? We're just going to let, let's use Slash. Let's do it. <laughs> Look at that. We did it. How appropriate that Lord V has Slash, like the enemy move of the team. <laughs> It's very appropriate is how I feel about it. Swords dance, I don't like that. Rock slide, I do like that because now it's dead. Man. Oh gosh, Dialga! All of the thing. This tree looks like it could be cut down. Route 14, this is a new route actually, so we can catch something here. We gotta get rid of Dialga first and rid of this Sharpedo, which is not gonna be a problem. We're just gonna hit it with the old, well, with the old plant. I'm gonna hit it with plant. And it's gonna die and it's gonna wish it was never born. Like I said, it's dead. Oh, it had rough skin. Faded cool. School kid Connor. All right. Oh, is this gonna be a double battle? I think it is. Let's make sure we're not about to send out Markle. So for double battles, we always like to send out Kimberly so we can throw the double intimidate. And why not get Kimberly some experience with Lord Vanilla? There we go. Oh gosh! I oh! I mean, Dialga haunting us, and here, there he is, rearing his ugly, ugly, over-designed head at us. Wow, in the flesh. It's been a second. He's attacked us twice today, and now he shows up in person, ready to die. What's gonna happen? It's what's gonna happen. Shows up with a Raticate, nonetheless. Very dangerous Raticates can be with their critical hit hyperfangs. I don't like it. I don't like this tactic he's using. It's very uncomfortable for me. We're just gonna throw, it's gonna have high defenses. I'm not sure that Lord Vanilla is necessarily the best option for this particular fight. What we probably want is, uh, we probably want to switch to plant here. Although it's definitely part dragon as well, but that's, I think we're just gonna hit it with dragon claw anyway. And hopefully this will just knock it out right out of the gate. Dragon Claw, boom, it does, it does. So I was concerned about hitting the steel typing because um, Lord Vanilla, Marco to 37. And we heal, and a Polyrath. We don't like Polyraths here. No, we don't. So we have double Dragon Claw here. We're gonna dig. I think we're gonna do the old dig and fly, the double dodge as it were. We're gonna dig on the Raticate 
We're gonna fly high on the polyrath. They shall both meet their doom. So polyrath dead. And wait for it, wait for it. Yeah, now you've got double dragon problems, my man. Oh, and you, look at look at these people. They have the alga, they have an imposter ice. Probably named it something stupid like fire or something. I'm gonna dig on you, cause that would totally destroy you. And we're gonna, um, yeah, we'll just fly. We'll fly, we're gonna the double dodge. It's, you go, I go high, you go low. Boom, dead. Ha! Yeah, just like that. You know, I'm gonna practice a whole, but don't you dare. I would, you think, look at Dialga trying to get our phone number. How dare you? Despicable, despicable. Do you have after school study sessions? <laughs> I mean, not really. Uh, another Sharpedo. Let's see if we can just wreck it with Slash. Oh, it used Aqua Jet. Okay, good to know. In my mind, I was like a little bit afraid of the um, water type move. Oh, rough skin, not good. Oh no, we can't get up there. Looks like it can be cut down. Okay, well, they really want you to have cut on this route, I guess. My dream is to fly with my beloved bird, Pokemon. Let's see what this guy calls a bird. Well, that's actually, what you would call that is uh, data, my man. That is a uh, straight up data Pokemon you have. It's very good and very lovely. Um, it is about to get rock slid. Yeah, it's dead. I'm sorry about that. I mean, I'm not sorry. As you said, oh, you have a fossil Pokemon too. Rock bug, rock water. Um, I think we're gonna have the advantage here because we're just gonna hit you for your rock weakness. Yeah, right? Waterfall? Oh, you're going for the protect. Sneaky, that's okay. It just gives us a free turn of healing. Then we waterfall and you deadfall. We push you off the waterfall, don't, yeah. It makes it look like we're um, swimming up a waterfall. I assure you, we're pushing them off the waterfall. That's how that move works. <laughs> Let me tell you, I had a hard time catching my prize Pokemon. Let's see, let's see. What did you have a hard time catching? Another Armaldo! Well, okay. They must be common in these parts. All right, that one's dead. Marco getting some more EXP. A Carvana, everyone with the Sharpedos and with the, the, the rough skins and a snubble. Wow. These guys choosing. You guys remember our grand bolt? Oh, look, Suicune over there. Just like, it looks like a glitch. Oh no, are you gonna fight me, dude? There he goes. You see, not again. I'll be there first next time. Having followed her here, I'm starting to understand what Suicune's after. To be honest, I would like to keep this information to myself. But I want to be honest, trainer in front of Suicune. That's why I'm sharing a clue with you. It seems Suicune prefers a hilly place near water, somewhere north. I don't know exactly where yet. It will be just you and me. Who will find it first? I challenge you. Like to a fighter? Okay, I guess not. Bye. Um, what a random inclusion that guy is. Like, who cares what he's up to? Not me. Do, 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 do. I guess we're gonna heal because we've taken a little, a wee bit more damage than I'd like. Sometimes I go back to the places I met with. They bring me good. Oh, you want to fight? A victory bell. Okay, so this is a very bad matchup for us because we are four times weak to grass right here. We don't like that. But you know who loves fighting grass types? Ice. Give him the old burn sickle, dude. Burn sickle. That's like icicle. Get it? But burn because fire. But his name is ice. Burn sickle. How did we not think of that before now? Man. I serving up burn sickles left and right sickles. Oh gosh, we don't like this. This is scary. This is scary. Uh, it could explode. I don't want it to explode. We're gonna intimidate it so that if it does explode, it doesn't hurt as bad. Oh, then we're gonna we're gonna use fly so that if it does explode, maybe we're not there for a turn. Use spikes, okay. And then we do that. Payback. Uh, okay, man. For a move like payback, I thought that was gonna be like way more powerful than that was. We're just gonna Dragon Claw. We should have this in the Bag and Claw, and we do. Okay. No, 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 forget it. I don't, no. Jeez. Route 13. So that's Route 14. So we can actually catch something over there. We just have to have, we have to go get Jade if we wanna catch something over there. And then Route 13, I don't think we've caught anything on, right? No, we haven't. Okay, we have not been to this section. So we can catch something up here, provided Maybe this episode is just gonna be us clearing out trainers and prepping for 
the Elite Four again. Not that we've gotten a ton of levels, even though... Oh no, did I accidentally give my phone number out to someone? Problem. This guy says he has an Onyx. Instead, he has an Articuno. So, there's that. It's about to get Rock Slid. It's got a Skarmory. It's about to get... Oh, it had pressure. I was like, why do we have so little? About to get waterfall. These guys seem like kind of weak all of a sudden. Why are why are there such weak? Tra oh, and a Quilava, so definitely just gonna aqua jet that. Lord Vanilla taking names, taking names today. We're all just getting to meet our new team member. No, Lord Vanilla, who, if you will recall, looked astonishingly like a Snorlax before we caught him. Oh, a Hypno, you say? We are really running out of, um... Woo! Psybeam. Aqua Jet! Kill it, dead! Kill it with fire! Marco to 39. Oh! Dragon Rush! Now we're talking. Now, it is a physical move instead of a special move, and it's low accuracy. However, I feel like it's probably better than Dragon Rage, so we're gonna forget Dragon Rage and get Dragon Rush. But that's also not a special move. So what would be great is if we had like Dragon Pulse or something. Which, to be fair, they, Claire did give us this that TM and we gave it to Ace. So there's that. A Gallade! Uh, we're going to switch here. Who would be good against Gallade? I think Ruchan is going to be the best choice here. Swords Dance. I don't like that. Not one bit. We're going to Shadow Ball. Oh! Swords Dance. Okay, so we're faster than it though. So it's no big deal. We just kill it. Wasted its chance. Could have hit us with something dangerous there, like a Night Slash or something. I don't know. It didn't. That's the point. Uh, we are going to switch, I think, probably now to Ice to get Ice a little bit more prepared. We're getting some levels on everyone. Now down before my Regal Pokemon. Sunkern. <laughs> That's your Regal. I mean, we caught one today, so there's that. Paliper. Maybe, man. We are in like the zone where I think we could just bring Markle out to do a Mew, a level 65 Mew. Where does this guy get off? What the but? What? How? This guy, whoa. Why does this guy have a level 65 anything? What is going on? Why is it so strong? This is officially the strongest Pokemon we have fought in the entire game, I think. What is that? Why do you have a level 65 Mew? Oh, it's so strong. Oh, it's so strong. Oh, I do not like it. This is bad. We're gonna have to go to Rutana here. Uh, barrier, okay, raise your defenses. Do, do whatever you think you have to do. We're gonna go for a Shadow Ball Amnesia. Oh God, it's raising its special defense. That's not good for us. Wow, wow, Rutana recognizing the danger and is like, I got this, you guys, I got this. Okay, Shadow Ball again. The Thing is, can we count on another critical hit? It's raising a lot of its defenses. Let's go. Shadow Ball. Do it. Wreck it. Destroy it. Oh, it's... Oh, man. Oh, man. We're just gonna have to keep it up. All we can do is keep it up. It's raising its defenses, but we Shadow Ball. We Shadow Ball, and we watch Mew fall. Oh, it's so almost dead. Okay, let's see what it's got. Oh, no! Woo! Okay, okay. Hold on. Hold on, Rutana. Ooh. It got the Omni Boost! Wow, that thing is not messing around. Man, good thing we had an answer there because it was about to be super bulky and boosted in every possible way and 10 levels higher than anyone on our team. That was, wow, that was scary for what, the, dude, doesn't everyone wish to be a ruler someday? I can see that you are a dangerous person who is trying to achieve your goals by using violence and um, you are definitely taking it seriously. How do I get around here? Ah, I see. Okay, well that was scary. Level 65 Mew. Oh no, this is the guy with all the magic arps, I guess. Probably most of the time. Uh, I bet we could just lava bloom this thing and it'll die, yeah. That's how powerful, uh, you have a fire type? Don't even care, don't even care. Pokemon, we definitely don't want to fight this thing, no. 39. Uh, let's go for Kimberly to the Wimberly, throw the Intimidate. Now that basically ruins it, then we Dragon Claw it to death. Boom, it's dead. Sorry about that, sorry not sorry. Hoot hoot, sorry not sorry. Dragon Claw, you're dead. Oh, a Snorlax. Everyone here got something big they wanna throw out. Gulpin, I mean, we're just wrecking through everything. I'm not even sure this is the fastest way to do this. The grinding, cause everything, like, I mean, it is fast, it's fast. 
faster and probably more interesting to watch. Um, Pokemon, let's get, you know what, I'm gonna do it. I'm gonna send out, I'm gonna send out Markle. Are you guys ready? Here we go. Tim, I'll give you a little hint. Don't you think my girlfriend's much stronger than I am? <laughs> Women who don't take love seriously and who are reckless might get hurt. Thanks for the advice, guys. Thanks for the advice, Tim and Sue. Torkoal and Raikou. Oh, okay. Okay, so these guys are actually weirdly strong. I get it. It's fine. It's fine. Um, Ice, you can stay. You can stay. And what we're going to do with you is... Actually, I mean, I guess Marco will resist both fire and lightning. But does that make Marco the best option? Either way. We could probably... I'm gonna confuse Ray the Raikou because that one scares me. Um, we could Thunder Wave. We could Dragon Rush either of them. I don't know if this is the best fight though. Let's 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 go to Plant, who will also be immune to the lightning. Yeah. Spark. They went for Ice. They sent the power, and then we heal. So they didn't do much. Now we can go. Lava Plume. Oh! Lava Plume hits everyone. That's not good. So we don't like that. Um, but who's faster? Is it Ice or Plant? Uh, let's see. I'm pretty sure it's Ice, actually. Yeah. Okay. So we need a way to turn to do Lava Plume. That's all right. We can go uh, Confuse Ray on Torkoal. And then we can go Dig on Raikou. Hurt itself in its confusion. Confuse Ray. Torkoal's confused. Dig. Confused. Body slam. Paralyzed. Not cool. All right, now we go Lava Plume, because now we will dodge it. Use Protect. Wow, that's pretty sneaky. Confused. Use Spark. Hit Ice. Dig kills the Raikou. Man, okay, wait, there's some tough Pokemon on this particular patch, which I don't appreciate. Well, now that we're in this situation, I think we can pretty, pretty comfortably switch to Lord Vanilla. And I think we can also pretty comfortably just dig on the Torkoal. Because we don't... Uh, Ice is a little paralyzed there, which isn't great. And we can just Aqua Jet this thing. And it, I bet... Oh! We can go for the double protect. Can you do it again? I think we can just go Dragon Claw. Because I bet the... Um, wow. Will it go for the triple protect? We've seen it before! Yeah, it did go for it. Because I would too. I'd be like, oh my gosh, those guys... Both of them kind of have sides for arms. We have a big, <laughs> right? Uh, well, not maybe not plant. Mega Garchomp kind of has that happening. No. Uh, okay, too bad. Oh, more people. This now we're paralyzed. Agility is the key attribute of bird Pokemon. All right, bring a mighty Anna. <laughs> oh my gosh. Forty-two, you say? Let's bring in. Um, uh, let's bring in Plant. And let's go Dragon Claw. Boom. Dead. Dead. And can we get to more... Oh, you know what we can do is we can just surf right here. Because this is, uh, a catchable area. And what I'm gonna do is switch Markle out to the front so we can paralyze whatever it is. Right? What can we catch? A Bulbasaur! That's fun. That's always fun. Let's go Thunder Wave. Yeah, sweet scent. Well, how nice. And I think we, I bet we could surf it pretty safely because we're, you know, okay, yeah, that worked. And now we can go Ultra Ball. Dun, dun, dun. <laughs> and we got a bubble. I think this is where we caught the, the Torchic last time was here. This is like where the starter Pokemon get randomized or something. That's weird. <laughs> Give a nickname to the cop Bulbasaur? Absolutely! Ben, do you want to give a nickname to the cop Bulbasaur? Whoa! Yeah! Bulbasaur, that's kind of fun. Uh, right? Okay, okay, okay. Not bad. Travis! Sent to the box. Well, that's fun. Ooh, there's Mar- Oh, there's Marco just looking. So, so super duper glorious. Let's see. Okay. Let's continue. We're gonna maybe Marco can do some fights. Let's check. Let's see. Hey, hey, how about we bring our Pokemon, yours and mine, for a battle? Hmm. How about we do a Mantine? Well, I think we can take it. 
I'm being honest. Let's go Dragon Rush. Why not? Oh, Confuse Ray. That's why not. You know what? I still think we got it. Markle? No! Markle! Dragon Rush! There it is. Boom. Just like that. We got our first victory with Markle. Well done! Huh? You probably want to look around restlessly for something. Hmm. Interesting. Interesting. All right. We're going to move... Um, Rutana up to the front. Get some fights in. You there! Check out my Pokemon. Just look at their coloring and plumage. Oh, yeah. Let's see what this guy thinks birds look like. <laughs> I love the bird keepers. They are all so about birds, and none of them have any idea what a bird looks like. I have super bad news for you, dude. That's not a bird. It's, I mean, it's basically a pile of vines, basically. And what we're going to do to it is just you turn on it, and it's going to die. And Rutana comes back to Jay, and uh, uh, um, uh, Plant comes out to take out the rest of whoever they got over there. Oh, you've got Magmortar. Well, well, well. An imposter. Lots of Magmortars today. Second one, right? Plus, Ice has been getting lots of experience. Lots of cannons for arms around here, people. Oh, Route 12. Is this also a new? I think this is also a new route. All right, let's see. Let's catch it. Let's go. Let's go. What do we got? What can we catch on Route 12? A Flygon! Hey, what do you know? <laughs> After all that, you guys, we finally have a chance to catch the Flygon. How exciting. Very exciting. Uh, we still don't have Quick Balls. Hmm. Okay, let's see. We're going to have to go to... Okay, I, I want to, at the very least... I'm going to heal up. We're not going to be able to, um, whatchamacallit, thunder wave this thing. Oh, Sonic Boom. That's an interesting tactic because it's part ground. Everyone is pretty strong. Everyone's pretty, yeah. We're going to have to bring in Markle. Faint attack. Okay, not bad. It should resist, it sh I think Surf will be okay. I think, I think, let's find out. Let's find out. Oh boy, what are we thinking? Was that too strong? Markle, are you too powerful? No, that was perfect, all right. Sand Tomb, all right, now we go bag. Actually, what we're gonna do is, first of all, we're gonna go, unless we can't shift because of the Sand Tomb. Nah, that's a problem. All right, well, we'll just keep an eye on your health, obviously, we don't want anything to happen to you. Uh, but in the meantime, we shall throw the Ultra Ball. Oh, we're only down to three Ultra Balls. This hasn't been a problem in a while. Oh, we got it though. Boom. Excellent. Flygon finally on the option. Ground Dragon. Guys, we could go full Dragon, I think, at this point, if we really wanted to. Right? We could bring on... We could bring on Flygon. We could bring on the Swablu, and we could bring on Cheese, and there you go. We'd be at six dragons. We could just be dragon traders. I, I mean, I, we couldn't do that. We couldn't bench Ice or Rutana or anything like that, but I'm just saying, it, it's an option. Clearly, we are akin with the dragons. We are the three-headed dragon. We need another nickname, Ben. I mean, we got a big old, we got a big old Flygon. Oh. Yeah, he's big dragon. I like big dragons. Yeah. Is he going to join the team? I don't think so. I don't uh, think so. But. In the meantime, its name should be Storm. Storm. Oh, what a great name. What a great name. Storm. Storm. Welcome, Storm. The box, too. Look, we filled up an entire box in the PC, you guys. All right. Well, I think we are at a pretty good stopping point for the day. I thought maybe this was going to be a lot of grinding. but in, And I mean, it was. Instead, it was a lot more of just preparation uh, just clearing out some other trainers. We're all just getting ready for the next big fights, which are massive fights. And we're trying to be as ready as possible. Get lots of experience. And we're gonna have to do some leveling up. So we need to probably be like in the, like the, the 60 range before we can realistically take on the Elite Four again. And even then, don't forget, Lance's strongest Pokemon is level 75. So that's, that feels really dangerous. I don't like it. It could be anything. It could be anything, it could be anything. And not to mention Red and his strongest Pokemon at level 88. And our current strongest Pokemon is 56. So <laughs> even if we were to level up 30 times, 
we wouldn't be as strong as his strongest Pokemon, which will be fully evolved. Typically, that uh, that 88 Pokemon is Pikachu. Um, this will not. It could be anything. It could be Mewtwo, for all we know. Knowing Red, it probably is, right? Because he's the, he's like the best trainer. And that yeah, it wouldn't surprise me at all. Be sending out something crazy. Maybe he'll have. What if? Oh my gosh, who even knows? Who even knows? Ugh. Okay. Anyway. That's what's happening. Guys, thanks so much for tuning in today. Uh, man, next time, we're probably gonna have to do some grinding. I might do some grinding in between just because it's very time consuming and obviously we have a long way to go. But thank you as always for watching today's episode. We caught some pretty cool Pokemon. We caught a Flygon, that was awesome. And we fought Dialga again, again. Ugh. And we got Lord Vanilla, some experience on the field. So hope everyone's got a good field for that. Um, otherwise, thanks for watching. As always, don't forget to like button if you haven't already and subscribe so you don't miss any future Nuzlocke action from us. But until next time, bye. Hey, before we go, just want to give a shout out to all of our amazing patrons over on Patreon. Abby, Mondin, Adrian, Shishitano, Afropunk, Annalena, Ort, Brad Johnson, Brianna Bouchard, Cheyenne, Dakota Valentine, Dana Guest, Eduardo Bravo, Emerald Phoenix, Gamer Zylia, Gregory Lee, Jacob Rosh, Jade Culture, James Buzanel, Joanna Ashcroft, Karen Choi, The Very Not Lazy, Lacey Nielsen, Lauren Alexandra, Luxpa92, Madison Wolf, Mats Frulis, Momo East, Nicole Cox, Rachel Pierce, Hrashiba, Romy Osterheld, Stacy, Yale Ezer, Zane Emerson, and Z. 0412. Thank you all so much for your support on Patreon. If you would like to uh, see your name on the wall of things right here, you can head over to patreon.com slash supercarlingaming. Thanks again. Spork.